Good day everyone. Today we have the pickled steel couple of Voro with me. Welcome back to Clean Cut EDC. We're going to do a full review on this knife. It is probably the most interesting knife that I have seen from pickled steel. Um, or actually one of the most interesting folders that I've ever seen, right? <laughs> I've never seen something like this. It's terrific. It's a, yeah, there's so much to discuss here. Um, I think let's just start. Let's do the full review on the couple of Oro. Love the name. Super cool for a super cool knife, right? Okay. This knife was designed by Miguel Hetzel, who is 18 years old. I mean, yeah, that is just incredible. Starting at such a young age with such an amazing company, Pickled Steel. You know, he makes his own knives, um, handmade knives, beautiful designs, beautiful knives. Please check out his Facebook page, it will be in the description, but he designed the couple of Oro, and, you know, it takes innovation, it takes inspiration, it takes super creativity to come up with something like this, it is so easy to go and just, yeah, I mean, like, change something on the penguin, put a flipper there, and then turn it into a different knife, that's super easy, guys, or the rake, you know, Put some, put some G10 or F4N scales on this thing and remove the flipper tab and it's basically the Ontario rat. So, you know, it's, it, designing knives can be relatively easy, in my opinion, um, when it's done wrong. When it's done right, you come up with something different. You come up with something like this, the couple of Oro, as D2 blade steel, Micarta scales, and the Micarta scales on this thing is a little bit different. It's I'm pretty sure it is canvas Micarta, but it almost feels rubbery in some places. It's just such a nice, nice knife to hold in hand. And I told you guys in the unboxing, I said that holding this knife is like holding a cloud. It Everything just fits into place. It's so soft on the hand, but still grippy. But even the grippy texture bits is soft. You know, it's, it doesn't irritate your hand at all. It's very comfortable. The decompression, everything is just so smooth on the couple of Oro. It's just like, it makes me think of like, I don't know if you guys watched Zorro, but when he fought, you know, he would, it would be like just, him cruising along it's just everything just works together it's just so effortless almost and that's that's the way the couple of oro stands out to me you know it's it's just effortless everything just flows man it just it works but without trying that's fantastic awesome pocket clip on the couple of oro it's a deep carry pocket clip super deep carry pocket clip inset screws Miguel Hetzel's name is on the pocket clip it is a coated titanium coated pocket clip stainless steel pocket clip and this pocket clip is basically as good as it gets. The way it curves upwards, you can wear the thickest clothing in the world. It will go over that clothing easily because the pocket clip is guided, you know, by this little lip. It just gets guided over the clothing so easily, sits nice and stiff, nice and comfortable, and you can even reverse it if you need to and slot it in behind the scale between the liners. Exactly what we want from knife companies. This is perfect. Perfect. This is what we want. We want this. And Honey Badger has done this for, for some time now. And that is one big upside that I have with Honey Badger. Or even with the QSB Penguin. The ability to slot in your pocket clip between the liner and the scale makes for such a nice, sleek design. Um, and also removes just a little bit of the hot spots that you sometimes get from a pocket clip. I haven't really felt from pickled steel, but some other... Uh, you know, knives, I do feel it does, you know, lead to a little bit of a hotspot. When we look at something like the Rake P801SF, you do somewhat feel that pocket clip in hand. Um, so, yeah, just cool design. Okay. Let's just talk about the blade. <laughs> I, I'm almost without words because I, I don't really know how to describe this. This is, this is like, I don't know, man. This is like a drop point wanted to be a Tanto and turned out to be a modified recurve Tanto with a hollow grind, flat grind, DLC coated, satin, belt satin finished. I don't even know what's going on here, but it's awesome. It is super cool. 
I love it. DLC coating here on the flat grind, right above the recurve section of the of the blade. And then we have our hollow grind here with the tip section, the belly section, and the belt satin finish on that. And it just looks crazy. So cool. We also have a DLC coating on the spine. I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe when it's closed, it looks cooler that way. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just for the look from the side or something. I don't know if it has practical value, but it's great. I like it. And um, somewhat, you know, with this um, coated spine, it does sort of make the blade more uniform. Because for some people, I guess, it can look a little bit strange with the one section DLC coated. But when you take that DLC coated spine into account, you sort of have this try try uniform look to it you know with the two sides the lc coated and then the top and then you have the um <clears throat> the flat sections here which has a belt satin finish and then the tip which has a belt satin finish so you it it becomes very uniform with this the lc coating on the spine a great design um very creative very well thought out i mean i would have never in my wildest dreams been able to to think of something like this this is just great also dlc coated here on the on the flipper tab, you can actually use that to creep up and to, to cut, you know, choke up on the knife. And the way the handle is shaped, it actually leads your fingers into the correct position when you need to choke up on this knife. It's almost like your middle finger is sort of resting on the space here, like a trigger. And then you have the trigger here at the flipper tab when you need to choke up. It's a very comfortable knife to choke up on. Um, you feel completely in control Super effective, very nice. Decompression, you guys can see there, there's a cutout here at the liners. And it makes the decompression super, super smooth. Super great action. It runs on, uh, on ceramic ball bearings. And as stuff we do point it out, you can actually flick this knife open by using the hollow grind on the blade and your ring finger. <laughs> and that has become my, my preferred method of deployment because it's just... It's just so cool, man. Um, when have you ever had the opportunity to flick your knife open with your ring finger? <laughs> it's always your middle finger or your uh, index finger, but flicking it open with your ring finger is really satisfying. That's super cool. Love it. The flipper tab also works great. Uh, the flipper tab op obviously works a little bit better because that wasn't the intention um, for it, but this is fantastic. Yo, such great action. It's so smooth. Everything is just, as I described earlier, effortless, but it works, you know. And a great lockup. Wow, that is fantastic. Fantastic lockup on this blade. Yo, great stuff, great stuff. This is terrific. Um, interesting, yeah, we have these cutouts here at the, at the back of the liners where you would flip the flipper tab just for that added comfort. Um, because sometimes the liners do provide like a little bit of a sharp edge. So when you flip, especially with this knife being such a fidgety knife, you're going to want to open and close it, open and close it over and over and over again. And they thought about that and they just mold it out a little bit so that you can have a comfortable flipping experience and don't run your finger over any sharp edges. Not that this is super sharp, but yeah, we have some skeletonized liners. The weight on this guy, is, I think it's around 100, just over 100 grams. That's a wonderful EDC weight. This is actually a very nice EDC knife. So with regards to this blade shape, right, obviously very interesting, but also, you know, conversation starter, but also very functional, very practical. Uh, this recurve style blade makes it very, very slicey, gathers the material, leads it towards this almost secondary tip, and then finishes the job from there also the tip itself is super slicey being a hollow grind very nice for food prep um, for whatever else you want that slicey tip for uh, you can really use that very well i, I had to cut out uh, sections of styrofoam um, two days ago and this tip this little belly really helped me you know i was able to drag and then slice drag 
gather material slice. This was just a fantastic, fantastic experience cutting with this knife. And I want to show you guys something else, you know, it's something that I saw while fishing the other day with my honey badger. I was fishing and I had to cut line, right? And I don't have my honey badger with me, but here is a, just a, a drop point style blade. What a drop point does, when you go to cut, you know, it, it separates, excuse me, it separates, ah, come. it separates the material and it wants to roll over the edge. That's what it wants to do. It wants to roll away from the edge. It doesn't want to dig in. With the recurve blade, what you have here is it gathers together. Do you guys see the effect there? Gathers together and then you go for the cut. So it doesn't, because that's something I experienced. I was trying to cut something with my drop point blade and it slipped over the edge. Um, but with this recurve style, it's going to gather it together, keep it in place so that when you need to cut through it, it's going to work great. Paracord, rope, actually any kind of material. It's not just rope style material or line material. Even with, you know, different um, cartons or stuff like that, when you need to bring it together, you guys can see there the effect of it. When I start to cut, it immediately brings it together, right? When I dig in, when I start to place pressure, it brings it together. That's fantastic. I really like this recurve style blade. Awesome. Awesome action. Super fidgety. Nice deployment. Thank you, Stuff We Do, for showing me that one. <laughs> Don't know if I would have um, been able to see that myself, but... This is, a, this is just fantastic. The pocket clip is quite a looker. Titanium coated. Wonderful, man. Oh, wonderful. Couple of auto. Miguel Hetzel, well done. Pickled Steel, well done. This has been an awesome collaboration. There's also another one coming out, the Evo, which also has my Carta, uh, but it has more of a sort of modified sheep's foot style blade, if I'm correct. Something more like along this lines. So, uh, so yeah, that's going to be also very cool. To see, can't wait, guys. Get yourself a couple of auto. It ticks amazing boxes, right? This is a, a South African design product with pickled steel quality. It just, you can't go wrong. Have a knife day, everyone. And remember that no knife means no life.